I wanted to say too, I saw a lot of movies yes. over the break. Yeah, I want to talk about that too. I saw a lot of them, but I only want to talk about one movie. The Hobbit. I saw it. I loved it. It rules. The Hobbit, the Hobbit rules. If you don't like The Hobbit, you're not a nerd. You're not into nerdy shit. The Hobbit is nothing but cool ass Middle Earth mythology. It's paced really well. Really fucking It's yeah. paced way better than The Lord of the it, Rings. Yes. It is. Yes. It is. And we've had, you know, Derek actually came in, if I may interject here. After Derek saw it, he said, I think it was better than The Lord of the Rings movies. And I didn't agree with that, but I see it. I was like, okay, yeah. I personally like The Lord of the Rings movies. He said that The Hobbit represented a magic whole other world. I said, yes, Lord of the Rings represented the end of that world. So that is yeah. the angle that I liked. Right. But regardless of which side you liked, The Hobbit was paced better than any of The Lord of the Rings. In, just in my opinion, it was, it was paced it was super the best of all. I of think it was a better movie. Maybe the story of Lord of the Rings is more engulfing. I heard people complaining about The Hobbit for the stupidest fucking shit, making me so angry I wanted to <laughs> rip my shirt off. I heard Here's a complaint I heard about The Hobbit. Like Hulkamania. Here's, here's, a, here's a fucking complaint I heard about The Hobbit. Okay. Tune in. It's no good. Oh, really? Why? Why? It was boring. Really? Why was it boring? Yeah. Nobody died. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. Oh, hey, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Stop talking to girls. I'm yeah. sorry. You, <laughs> did that girl, you did that in a girl voice, and that's all. I, I'm sorry, but I can only imagine a girl saying Yeah, that. I agree. Movie would have been better if characters died for no fucking reason. The story was written mm, 80 Boys. years ago, but let's <laughs> rewrite it to spice it up. Gandalf should die. Here's another thing I heard. <laughs> Whoa. Here's another thing I heard. Okay. Those birds are becoming uh, like the deus ex machina of Middle Earth. Lazy writing. <laughs> <laughs> they okay. take it up with J.R.R. And this is one I heard everywhere. Too long. Too long. And all I want to say about that is... Get your yeah. worth. No, the, I, uh, <laughs> I've already said this to you. I know you're going to no, say No, this is all I've said. Yeah. I've heard <laughs> numerous complaints. The Hobbit is no good. Number one reason, it's too long. In the same vein, from many of those same people, Django Unchained, one of the greatest movies ever made. A must-see. Django Unchained is one minute shorter than The Hobbit. <laughs> it, is a, it is 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Yeah, shorter. How many times do they say in The Hobbit? <laughs> Not enough. That's a legitimate complaint. That's a that's, legitimate complaint. But I hear that's the opening line of the second one. Oh, they okay. It. They saved it for part two. The dragon smog emerges from the gold. <laughs> Says it. And says it, and that's why they have to kill it. They're like, we don't allow hatred. Yeah, here. not in Middle Earth. That's Smog the Terrible. So I know everybody out there loves Django. They think it's a good movie. You think it's a good movie. I'm I want to see it. You. Yeah. I'm a Tarantino hey, fan. If you, I've enjoyed heard it's good. if you like Tarantino, I am so happy for you. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> but for this reviewer, The Hobbit is an actual good movie. <laughs> See, I didn't think I pissed off enough people. Nobody cares about the Metroid thing, so now I want to piss people off now. Start here. No, this what? is good. Uh, no, anyway. You're pissing people off? The Hobbit. I was telling... No, I was telling people... I, I really... I really... I beat Metroid Other M. Yeah. And just fucking loved it. I yeah, loved it. You were it. gushing about that. Yes, I really was. I had people... I had people uh, who write for a couple different game sites comment on it like, yeah, this was not in the ballpark of good. Like, really? And I was like, man, I don't agree. Huh. Anyway. I was wet over it. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. The yeah, Hobbit. He though. was wettest in the building. Um, all I I was the wettest in the I, building. I see a lot of movie reviews on game sites, and it's starting to annoy me because it's like you really need to pick a topic that you are yeah experienced and well versed <laughs> in, and just stick to that. You play a lot of video games, and you have a criteria by which video games are good. And I feel like you take that criteria and you apply it to movies, and you're consistently disappointed. And then you only like movies that satisfy your video game criteria, which <laughs> is. Yeah. Fast pace, action, crazy action, a lot of explosions, cool graphics, and <laughs> cool special effects. Kind of go hand. Oh, whatever. But. It gets an 8.5 in graphics. Anyways, uh, what were you going to say? Oh, no. I, I saw a ton of movies over the Christmas break. This was such a Christmas break. Uh, such a good situation. It was. It was when you're, good. When you're not doing such as good, not doing good. This is good uh, it was such a good break, and I got to see all the movies I wanted to. Just about. Argo was out of theaters. I, I still have never seen Some that. Some bitch. But oh. I want to run him down real quick. Okay, go ahead. Just real quick, fast. Give a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Well, I'll do popcorn shakes. Okay. All right. Uh, Hobbit. Is that one, two? Two, three. three. No, anyway, I'm not going to do that. Uh, <laughs> but no, 
Hobbit was awesome. One of my favorite movies of the year. Was blown away way more than I thought I'd be. Fun-ass movie. Great movie. Uh, really entertained by it. That was The Hobbit. I saw Skyfall. I saw that. I saw that. Now, I will say, I realized watching that movie, I've never finished a Bond movie all the way through, and I realized it even further seeing this one. I don't care about James Bond. I'm not into it. <laughs> but that being said, that being said, this didn't convert me. That being said, it was an entertaining movie. Don't get me wrong. That was a, it was an entertaining movie. But I, but I was laughing when it was over. I was like, I, you know, I don't know if I'm going to watch more Bond movies. I, just I like the real first quick. Daniel Craig. I think this is one but of the best. But it was a good movie. I think this, this is one of the movie. best James Bond movies there's ever been. So I if you don't like it. this okay. one, don't yeah. bother with On the other yes. But the, it was entertaining. Don't get me wrong. And I your really brother it. said it turns into Home Alone at the end. Yes. Yeah. And now. after that conversation, I completely realized what he was talking about 100%. Yes. Oh, yes. And, and oh, shit. That was, the, that was my favorite part of the movie. Oh, my God. When they get to this part, and it's just... Booby traps? I knew as soon yeah. as it started. I, I, I haven't seen it yet, but on your recommendation, Craig I want to see it. at the camera and says, this is it. Don't get scared now. Then it starts. That, that yeah. happens. Then it gets fucking That's, real. Dude, sounds good. Uh, cool. You yeah. would like it. You would really I like know. It. I got to get in the theater and see M, it. M, uh, M is behind a desk just sitting there, and she goes, James! <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, no, it was, it, but it was, it was really entertaining. So don't take that as like it's a bad movie. I just don't know if I'm interested in continuing that. But anyway, but that was still entertaining. Saw that. I saw. I hate that there, guys. Don't worry, we're fine. Spam spaz. I was not joking about the Hobbit. I loved every minute. That's not true. I didn't like the first half hour or so. A little really? bored. A little bored. Yeah, I don't agree with that. I thought that was all. Oh, right. I yeah, thought it was so I cool to it. see a like a prequel to Lord of the Rings almost. Yeah, I, I, that scene. Or just like that, that scene, scene is not what I'm talking about. Oh, a little bored with the dinner scene. Other than that, yeah, loved that, every that, moment of the that. That was over in like two seconds for me, and everyone yeah. tell me it was long. It's got the cool hey, song hey, and the hey, hum it at the it's, end. Of it's everything. longer than two seconds. I, no, but I mean, <laughs> I, I know, but that. it was like to me that was I never even thought that oh this is going on. I just it was over. I don't know. Dude, it's longer than two seconds. He's right. But, uh, yeah, I wasn't joking. I loved The Hobbit. I loved it. Uh, if I could say that any part in that movie didn't need to be in it, it was The Stone Giants. But I didn't, like, not want that to be in it. That was see, cool. And it that, went on that was, that was cool. I wanted to see more That stuff. kind of sealed the deal for me. In that part, I was like, wow, this movie's really fucking cool. I remember reading about those giants, and when I read about them as a kid, it was a little hard for me to imagine which makes me sound like an idiot. I don't know why I'm praising the movie for being more imaginative than I was. They're no, no, no. trolls, not giants. No, yeah. I'm not saying they should have cut that out. I mean, it just They're didn't trolls, have right? a bearing on the whole thing to me, but I, was, I wanted to see as much of that world as possible. You know what? Over, yeah. the break, so I was I went, fine. over the break, I went back, Christmas break, I went back and watched oh. the Lord of the Rings extended uh, Blu-rays. Yeah. And uh, on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and none of the trolls featured in the Lord of the Rings yeah. ever speak. Yeah. And it was odd that these spoke so freely. Yeah, they, they talk about that even in like the behind the scenes of the it Lord. Didn't, it didn't stand out when I watched The Hobbit, yeah. only when I went back and went, none of the trolls talked That's why all. they specify in the Lord of the Rings movies, oh, they've got a cave troll. Yes. And they say that in the behind the scenes of the Lord of the Maybe Rings movies. Maybe cave trolls don't talk. They about talk about it. They're like, you know, if you ever see a Hobbit movie, these are, guys are all going to be talking, and I know someone's going to say something. Yeah. He says something like that in oh, the behind okay. the scenes. That's cool that they thought about that. Um, yeah. but um, That's the one thing I did put together in my head was they do specify that they've got a cave troll in yeah. the, when the goblins all come in in, yeah. uh, in the Mines of Moria scene. Yeah. Um, something that I should, that, you know, I meant to bring up on the main podcast. We just talk about it now. Uh, people were asking if we saw it in high frame rate. Um, I've seen it twice now, and the first time I saw it, just normal. Sean and I saw it, normal frame rate, whatever, but 3D. It Same was here. still 3D. That was, a, that was the first way I saw it. Yeah, and did you see it that way, or did you see it just 2D? Just 2D. Normal, whatever. Okay. I wanted to go back, but I haven't yet. Yeah, uh, well, anyway, I saw it again. And me and Garrett and Kevin saw it again, but we saw it in high frame rate 3D. And, um, and... Yeah, I don't know if you, there was anything specifically you I, wanted to say about it. No, it was it was, and, and I take that back. I, I did see it how Derek did. I saw it the first time, non 3D. Oh, okay. Regular, uh, 24 frames a second. The second time when we went and saw the high frame rate and in 3D. Yeah. The 3D was cool. That was like normal 3D that you yeah. see in the theater, like you're used to. Uh, it looked good. The high frame rate thing was fucking weird at first, man. It looked like. Yeah. It looked like when he was getting shit out of the trunk and looking for his book. Like, it opens with Bilbo opening the chest and, like, digging around in there. Yeah. It looked like it was fucking sped up. It just looked jarring. 
And then you got used to it, but it didn't, it, you pointed this out, it didn't hide the edges of CG. So you could see hard lines on CG where motion blur would normally yeah, cover that. Well, that's, yeah, that's what that's I was going to say. That's a good point. Never and and I, yeah. I, was, I was disappointed in, in like the Goblin Town scenes because it wasn't as realistic as when I had seen it before with the 24 frames. You get yeah. that motion blur to hide some of the CG that's just not as... Yeah, now it's completely fluid, and I was telling them before, and this is... I think there's pros and cons. I don't think that there's an outright it's good or bad to the 48 frames. It's there. Yeah. But the one a, thing I will say was cool, bad. I'm was, glad I saw I was, was going to bring this up when I talked to you earlier, but... um. Yeah, th there's like a part where... Uh, what's his name? Radagast is on the... is. Yeah. being pulled by all the rabbits, whatever, that that actor's face is motion tracked yeah. to a CG body, there's no motion blur hiding that now. Yeah. And so I'm curious what they're going to do as things go on and maybe there's things they can't do in a movie because it doesn't hide that. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, what are you going to do? Then? I think that might have been my this favorite This is what I think. This movie. is what I think. Yeah. High <laughs> frame rate films will not catch on. No. It'll try no, I, for I just a few don't years. Think, who cares? I, I think know. it'll revert back to film the way it was. I think 3D is going to start going away now, too. Yeah, I think that'll happen, too. But film just has wow. a look. And it doesn't matter the technicality, yeah. how impressive it is, how fast the yeah, frame rates yeah, are. Yeah. It's about achieving a certain look. And all this newer technology gets away from that look. I and think yeah. that directors are going to not want to do 3D pretty soon. But I think the studios are going to make them do it because they make so much more money with 3D. That's, that's already happening with, um, dude, J.J. Uh, Abrams told everyone, hey, I'm not doing Star Trek in 3D. I don't care. Yeah. I think 3D sucks. It puts a barrier between you and the thing. Just what's, I'll do film. Like, I, I don't like this. Star Trek 2 is in 3D. The new one that's coming next year, they, Shit. like, force that on them. Wow. See, I'm, I'm, and even J.J. Abrams couldn't fight because that. Because they're making so much more money per ticket. Yeah. That, I, why stop it? And I've been watching uh, my friends. They have one of those high frame rate TVs that converts older movies to look like that. Yeah, it gets oh, a yeah. smooth thing. Oh, yeah. That is so... That ruins classic films. Yeah. It takes scenes that you've seen a hundred times and know and love, and it makes them look like video recreations. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not, like they're filming it live. It's, yeah, it's yeah. not a good look. It, like they're filming it live, but also like... Um, this was filmed on a DSLR. It doesn't look like a film movie anymore. Yeah, it looks yeah. like it was made with modern-day, low-quality cameras. My my uncle works uh, in Hollywood, and he attended a panel earlier this year uh, before The Hobbit came out and everything about frame rate, like different frame rates, and kind of yeah. kind of what what's moving to what and, and what they're going to do. He works in animation, so it was it was a panel involving directors, cinematographers, and animators, and. Um, they had examples of scenes filmed in 24 frames, 48 frames, and 60 frames. Yeah. Um, a lot of what they talked about was 24 frames is the way a movie looks. 48 frames is the way they're moving towards movies to look. Uh, and 60 frames is what peop now a younger generation is used to with games and, and yeah. stuff like that. Um, the directors and the cinematographers were talking about, wow, like if we shoot in 48 frames and it's a, and it's a quiet drama and it's, a, it's like a real small room movie it's going to look incredible because it's going to look real it's not mm -hmm. going to look like actors on a set if you don't shoot it like it's actors on a set it's going to look like an incredible new movie you do a big action explosion thing you can't there's no mer there's no motion blur yeah. and animators all the animators on the panel are going we're literally if we do 48 frames on everything it's literally twice as much work yeah yeah, Lit yeah. literally yeah. I, I never thought about okay that. now it's literally twice as much work to achieve half the look you're reverting, it looks shittier. You're, yeah. you're reverting back to the late 90s or in the early 2000s where the CG was starting to catch up with film where you're going, wow, this looks incredible. Yeah. But it's not quite there yet. Now we've reached a point where the CG is like, wow, this looks pretty good, but it's still after a couple years it looks kind of like bad, and that's getting better and better. Now if they bump up to 48 frames, all the tricks that they had yeah. for making it hidden in 24 yeah. to like make it yeah. look good, it, you're, you're jumping back 10 to 12 years in yeah. terms of CG yeah. with the way it looks. And so it was a big panel on kind of where everything's moving, what the next step is, and what people want to do. And a lot of these cinematographers and directors are going, uh, 48 frames might be it, but it might yeah. not. So. Fuck. Well, James Cameron wants to do Avatar <laughs> 2 and 60, I heard. Yeah. yeah. But, so uh, that, that's... Yeah, the, uh, so it'll that's be interesting, uh, and maybe they'll find ways to compensate for that or something. I, I don't know. But if you're asking me... The, I, I don't have a definitive answer, like, is, was it good or not? To me... You know, some interviews with Peter Jackson that I watched after seeing it mm -hmm. put it into perspective for me. He said, he said, look, 
I just want to give reasons for you to go to the theater and not just watch it on your iPad later. I'm putting out a couple of versions. Yeah. Go see the one you want to see. Okay, that's cool. And he said, with the 48-frame version, I just wanted to make it like there was just a window. Like, hey, there's not even a it barrier was, film it, here. And it did that. And hey, yeah, they achieved that. It looked like, like I was no, looking yeah. into Hobbiton. Like, it was just and so, green yeah. and fucking bright. If that's like, what you're wow, going looks... for, yeah, so if that's what you're going for, it did that. And hey, if there's directors that want to film it that way, do it. it that wouldn't keep me from seeing your movie. However, it, if you're asking me which looks better, I mean, I'm not even saying it. People always are, are quick to, oh, you're, you're old, and that's why you like 24 frames a second. I'm, I have no reason to cling to things. I don't care. Yeah, I mean, you but do. But it's a look, and if you're asking me what looks better. But we're... we're Maybe we are old, but we're we're in a position where we're so fucking with technologies. Every yeah, step. I, just if you're if you're asking me what looks better, we spent years, decades trying to get digital cameras to do the 24 frame look. Yeah, yeah. and now you're telling me that no, no, you're old. That's why yeah. that looks good. Why, why did we spend so long trying to working on that? that? Well, it has a look. People film stuff on a high frame rate video camera and then color correct it to make it look like film yeah they mm. lower the saturation and they like add grain the down they add grain they mess with the contrast and now films are being warped to look like high frame rate it's video. fucking weird yeah <laughs> it's just i don't know it's an aesthetic it's, exactly what this guy jay Bedazzle in the chat says is it's an aesthetic choice so if you want to do that like if there was a story yeah it, it's it's it depends on what it is whatever uh it had the it did look like we were looking into a window if you're asking me what looks better, 24 frames a second to me is is just looks amazing, and yeah. I that to me is the look I prefer. Whatever. Um, I've heard a lot of people again in the whole like in the whole like oh you know it's only old people that are saying or whatever. I've I've heard people someone specifically someone in a position of power that I spoke to said I think it's purely generational because if you ask younger kids what they thought of it. They go, wow, that was the most beautiful movie I've ever seen. And in my head, I thought to myself, yeah, and all those kids are going to grow up and see something in 24 frames a second and go, that looks cool. Yeah. So that's, yeah. Yeah, you know, it might be generational. It might just be what our brains are tuned in yeah. for. We, we, I just think one looks better. Yeah, when you asked me when I was 12 what the funniest movie on earth was, it was Austin Powers. Well, I'm just saying the, <laughs> yeah. look, I'm just saying the look of 35 millimeter <laughs> film ran yeah. through a projector at 24 frames a second. Yeah. I think that that frequency and that interval of flashing light in between darkness has some connection and, 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 and it's what you're comfortable seeing. It's what you're used my mind. to. I know. I'm getting used. metaphysical. My mind but, was blown. But none, of, none of our, but none of our, our we don't shoot, you think that the frequency... We shoot, our, we shoot our own videos, a ton of them at 24 frames a second, and yeah. those ones look better than the ones that aren't. No, it's not even... It's not... But what I'm talking about is not, not yeah. like home video or DVD or Blu-ray or anything, but sitting in a theater. Yeah. What you're used to seeing is something shot at 24 frames a second where you have yeah. a certain frequency of flashing lights at a, at a mm -hmm. steady interval. Now you double that... It, it was jarring. It was something that I wasn't used to. I don't know if there's a connection. Yeah, I don't know. To, with me, it's just how it looks, and yeah. I think 24 just looks cooler. I mean, but didn't you think even, even, getting away from, even getting away from 24 to 48, shooting things digitally is absolutely a different aesthetic choice. Like, mm -hmm. Le Miserable looked so digital. That movie didn't look like it was shot anywhere near film. I mean, it was shot on red, wasn't it? I don't know. I yeah, have no I, clue. I mean, didn't you feel like the whole time you were watching people on a set? Did, did you not feel that way? I wasn't really thinking the, about I that. I felt that way with Drive. The, the entire time I was watching Le Miserable, I was going, oh, it's like I'm watching a play. Like, and it was, and it really was like watching a play. I mean, obviously, they're just singing, and sure. it looks like they're on sets. Yeah. And I can't really fault it for going, oh, it looks like it's on a set, because everyone's singing the whole time. <clears throat> yeah. But it, I thought it, I thought that movie looked really, really digital. Like, r like incredibly digital. Yeah, I wasn't did, really paying attention to that. Did you guys I, I guess feel I would way? if I saw it again. Mm. Did you feel that way about Drive? Because that was shot with no, Reds, No, I right? was actually going to say, no, Drive was shot with the RE Alexa, which is an entirely new digital but, whatever, and I thought that looked pretty good. I, I thought that movie looked extremely extremely standout digital but it was so good it was so that was the right aesthetic choice I, for yeah, that movie i, I don't yeah. think i don't think it was like standout digital but no. after like 
seeing it more than once, yeah, it was like it was a. Detective. I had its own look, but I thought it looked yeah. good. I, I thought, thought it looked great. Yeah. Watching I, it, the making of Prometheus, that was shot on red, right? Re, uh, Prometheus was all on red. Which all red too. that looks fucking amazing to me. Like I would have yeah, never. I thought that looked great. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but red is, yeah, red is <laughs> the, the, is is evolving to where it's not going to look red anymore. They should put movies on. All panel. movies should just be shot in digital, <laughs> digital, digital forever. Frowny face. I agree. Uh, Do I get I, licensing on that? Like yeah. DVD? You know how they stamp DVD on the side of a DVD? Don't yeah. they have to pay for that license to print a DVD? I, I don't know. Hey, doesn't you, someone you own ready, the technology? You ready for this? Fifty frames per second. Whoa. This is going to be the next. Two frames a, this second. is going to be the next hour of discussion. They should have less frames. Fifty a second. frames per second. Uh, someone said uh, something. Good one. Someone said I'm something. At one point. Someone said, was it crank shot digitally? It was. And what I liked about that movie is they basically said, hey, if we're going to film this digitally, let's not even hide that. Mm -hmm. So there's shots that they got Best Buy DV cameras and, like, taped into a car and then, like, Explode hit the it. Car. And then you get that angle of it, you yeah. know, like, so that was cool. But there's, not drive There's one around. shot. There is no drive two. Not there was <laughs> one shot. There was one shot in the original crank shot on film, and it's when he's walking in slow motion down a sidewalk. Because they did slow-mo with every digital video camera they had, and they were like, digital isn't that good yet. It, like, isn't that funny? It's like, you would think with digital there'd be better choices for s really slow motion, and it's like they're still limited with that. But they just got a film camera and ran it really fast, you know, whatever. Somebody posted something in the chat that, like, really struck me. I can't wait for Drive 2. I don't care if it's ridiculous. That director makes awesome shit. Uh, is that, that coming? That that to me it sums up. It is. What? Sums up everything that's like wrong with film films. I don't want <laughs> yeah, him to make a he's, sequel he's to that. It's called Driven. I've heard. I don't want that. There's a sequel to the book. Yeah. Well, you know what? I gotta. Yeah, no, and I heard that that's uh, being adapted. You know what? I should realize if whatever. If it sucks, it sucks. But if it is good, then I'll. Now I, I saw Bronson, and I didn't think it was that great. I it, loved Bronson. It looked cool, but the oh, story was kind of, like, not really there. Is that guy making a new movie? Nicholas wearing the full whatever? Nicholas I, I like Bronson yeah. a lot, the, actually. The director or the actor? The director that made Bronson. He made Drive. Yeah. Is, is he making something... Yeah, he's making a new movie sequel to Drive, I thought. No, he's making no, a new movie with Ryan Gosling. Oh, okay. Uh, only God Forgives, I think? Yeah, okay. Only God Forgives. I'll check that out. I'll, I like the, that guy. The poster is Ryan Gosling with a shit beat out. I like, uh, I like that. It's like a Fight Club He's actually thing. next to a shit. Yeah, and it's beat out. It's a, next to... It used to be in like him. Like now it's Adam. How'd that happen? Yeah. How'd that happen? <laughs> well, so I'm looking forward, I'm looking forward to Driven, and then Drove, <laughs> and then uh -huh. Overdrive. <laughs> and then Mega Drive. Yeah. Commercial. Uh, yeah, I remember I... He's Bronson was cool, but I found it more fascinating just to, like, look up YouTube videos of the guy that that movie was based on. I loved the scenes uh, before he was locked up, living and and thugging around England. Like I don't know, that was just fucking cool. Yeah. When he robs the till at the like little, like market that he works at, and then like gives the girl some money and then kisses her. It's a good scene. Commercial. Commercial. We'll be right back. I like that kiss. I like that kissing scene. I want the I want the f fourth or fifth drive movie to be called Drive Away Home. Yeah, I can get the hard drive. Can they do a drive and speed? Hard drive would be the sixth one. 